Hello everyone. Till now, we have seen the various properties of acid and bases. We have also seen the neutralization reaction in which the acid reacted with bases to form salt. Now, I am sure most of us must be imagining the salt word as white crystals which we use to prepare the food. Now, these white crystals are common salt or which we call as sodium chloride. Now, limiting our understanding to sodium chloride only as a salt is wrong. There are various of salts which we use in our daily life. Now, we know that the sodium chloride is used in preparing our food. We will be seeing sodium chloride in detail, but let's first understand what exactly salt is. We know salt are obtained by the reaction between acid and bases. Now, these salts are formed due to neutralization reaction. The salts have the positive ion of the base and the negative ion of the acid. So you see, a salt is normally neutral. Now when both the acid and the bases are strong and pH is 7, we say that the salt is neutral. But when a strong acid and a weak base combine, they form a strong salt or acidic salt which has a pH lower than 7 and we call it as acidic salt. Similarly, when we take strong base and weak acid, it forms a basic salt and has pH more than 7. So we can so say that the salt can be neutral only if the concentration of both acid and bases are strong. Let's see sodium chloride in a bit detailed way. Now sodium chloride is formed by the combination of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. We get the common salt from the seawater. Seawater has deposits of other salts also. So sodium chloride needs to be separated out from it. Now there are many deposits of these solid salts found across the world. Now these large crystals are of brown color due to the impurities. Now these are also called as rock crystals. Now the common salt is actually a raw material of many of the materials that we use in our daily life. All we need to do is do the experiments and extract the raw materials such as sodium hydroxide, bleaching powder, washing soda, baking soda and many more. To do this, we have to make a solution of sodium chloride and pass the electricity through it. Now there will be a decomposition reaction in it which will separate out the sodium chlorides as sodium hydroxide, hydrogen and chlorine. Among the products, we are seeing that sodium hydroxide, which is an alkali, and chlorine are formed. So this process is also called as chloralkali process. Now, the chlorine gets deposited on the anode and hydrogen is deposited at the cathode. The sodium hydroxide gets deposited near the anode. Now, all the three products which are formed during the process is useful in our daily life. Like hydrogen is used as margarine, fuel and in manufacture of ammonia which are essential component for the fertilizers. Now chlorine is used in making of disinfectants, insecticides and CFCs. It is also used in water treatment plants and cleaning of swimming pools. Now sodium hydroxide is used in degreasing of metals, soaps and detergents, paper making and manufacturing of fabrics. Now, sodium hydroxide and chlorine combine together to form bleaching powder which acts as a cleansing agent of the fabrics and the households. Now, the hydrogen and chlorine combine to form hydrochloric acid which are used for cleaning the steels and also for making cosmetics, medicines and ammonium chloride. Now, we can mix these three products with the other substances to make other useful salts. We will be seeing these salts in our next video.